and p o r o y number one, my pet. Number one. Number one. Yeah, Famous. you can test. Famous in Bangkok. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a massive fan of this dish. It's always a bit too spicy for me. Hi guys, welcome back. We're on tour d r i d g e s If you're new here, we're a full-time travel couple from the UK. We are currently in the capital city in Thailand, Bangkok. <laughs> We're actually in an area called Plom Tong Buri, which is like a real local area. So we thought the best thing to do is go around and do the most authentic Thai street food tour ever. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to try some of the signature dishes that everyone needs to try when they come to Thailand. Let's go. Is a very Thai restaurant. The name's in Thai. We don't know what it's called. We don't know how to pronounce it. It's going to be traditional Thai food for locals only. Oh, this is the place. It looks so good. It's got good reviews online. That's how I found it. Googled the meal we wanted to have. Thank, Thank you. you. The chicken k a o s o y Some fried chicken. Yeah, just one though. One chicken k a o s o y and two uh, bottle water. 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 Yeah, yeah. Always feel like a little bit awkward just all in one meal, but obviously we've got a few meal, meals to do. We don't want to like eat loads in the first place. Very like local feel. There's not much speaking English, which means it's going to be good, authentic. They've literally just got that one page that has English o r i and everything else. Yeah, for the tourists. Oh, well, it looks really good though. Oh, they've got a wide selection of drinks with English o r i n So it looks really nice. You've got like a guy cooking at the front there. He's doing like the street food stuff. But look at this! It's sort of really nice style. It's quite strange because this feels like a restaurant, and I can't remember the last time we actually sat down and had a meal. We don't really do it often. So you've got like your condiments on the table. You've got a bell. I'm looking forward to this meal. I think it's going to be a really good one. We have had khao soi when we were in Chiang Mai because this is like an up north dish. So I'm looking forward to seeing what it's hit like here in the capital city in Bangkok. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Just do a weird cut. <laughs> I'm so awkward. This is really good. We're starting off with khao soi. As I said, traditional in the north of Thailand, but we're going to try it here. It looks really good. It literally took like two minutes. We've got a lime. Squeeze a bit of lime in there. Woo! s q u e d me in the face. <laughs> so we've got like a little bowl of goodie. We've got some coriander. We're going to add that. Some fresh onions. What I can remember having this last time, it was quite spicy. So. Let's go right in. So inside we've got noodles with a chicken drumstick, some fried onions on top, and like a crispy wonton on the side. Mm. Ooh, tastes good. Let's go in and try the noodles. Oh, I wish I got given chopsticks. So we got given forks, obviously because we're tourists. For the Western. Mmm. I've got more water ready. <laughs> really delicious, like coconut flavor. And then you've got the curry paste in there with um, like an overpowering of ginger and lime. It's actually really delicious and not too spicy. It's um, lukewarm though. It's not like the hottest. But normally, a lot of the dishes in Thailand are literally ready to just be thrown together. Was it better than the one up north? I'm not sure. Let's try these like fried onions. We've got like these. I'm assuming they're like fried onions. Mmm. Oh, it's really good. We got like two bowls, and we're just going to share it. As we said, we got a lot of food to try. Well, that was absolutely delicious, but my mouth is literally on fire. It is one of the most spiciest dishes. Oh, look at the fishy! Oh, thank you. Thank you. Well. That was really good. How was your mouth, though? Uh, not too bad. Let's get the other side of me, Ben. He's got to go the other side because it just doesn't work. Just doesn't work. This is this is our way. Yeah, delicious. Very like full of flavour. This is the place, as we said, we can't pronounce the name. Highly recommend it. The food Everything looks amazing. Fine. Absolutely authentic. Thank you. Thank you, Captain. If you like spicy food, try a soy cow. Very very good. Oh, the flavors though. There's just so many flavors in it, but when that spice hits the back of your throat, you're like, whoa. So we had share one meal to share, which, which was really big actually. It was big enough to share, honestly. Give it two bowls and two bowls of water, and it cost 80 baht. 80 baht, yeah, cheap. So that's the first meal of the day done. 
next location is all the way back by our place. So we've got to head all the way back now, about 20 minutes. Just want to take a moment to share with you today's sponsor, Nomad eSIM. Nomad eSIM is actually available in 170 countries and it also solves a massive issue for us. Whenever we arrive in a new country, we always waste our first day trying to find out where we can get a SIM card and will we get a reliable service provider. But with Nomad eSIMs, even before we land or even book a hotel, I'm able to pull up my phone and then find the Nomad eSIM app and find exactly which country we're going to. Find a phone plan that works for us depending on how many gigs that we would like. So then I can purchase instantly so when we get off the plane we're already connected. So always a big thing for us because obviously having data helps us get a taxi and shuts down them language barriers. Something you need to be wary of as a traveller is them high international roaming charges which can add up to one hell of a lot of money. So as well as being efficient it also saves us money. So that's why Nomad eSIM is a game changer for us travellers. Nomad eSIM is currently on their biggest summer sale. So if you guys want to get your first eSIM and save some money click the link and enter my special referral code. You'll get 25% of your first purchase and you'll be connected for your next trip. Now back to the video. The next one we're going to is probably the most traditional and popular dish out here in Thailand. Just up here. It's literally a three minute walk. Further than, it's literally a three minute walk from our accommodation. So if it's good, we can come here again. Oh wow. We've got some like lovely barbecue food going on along here as well. I'm a bit worried this place isn't open yet. Unless I've walked past it. It might not be open yet. Where is it? Along here. I oh, know, we've still got further to go. I thought it was like literally there, but it wasn't. Oh, I think I can see it up there. A bit further, Ben's took it over the map. There it is, cute little place there. Should we stay outside though? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we've got menu. We know what I'm having. Yeah. Toy holy. That is what we're going Hunt for. With Beef or? Pork, the traditional pork one you've got to go for. That one. A little spicy as well, spicy man, green fire. Okay. This one. Spicy. Uh, A little. Little spicy, <laughs> not so <tiny> spicy. <laughs> uh, fried. Yeah, which type? Do you want special? Oh, thai fried. Thai fried. Thank you. Oh, we we're going to go out there. Yeah. Thank you. What's that awkward? We know what we're saying, then we're like. Blah, 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 blah. We were sitting outside, I love sitting outside at these tables. I didn't realise this was part of the restaurant. <laughs> what do you think it was? I don't know. It's probably like someone's casual like hangout. Have a go. One of the most authentic and typical Thai dishes is the krapao. This is the pork one, so this is like proper original. Thai egg, it's cooked in hot oil and it's not flipped or anything, so it's um it's very like beige on top. But I'm gonna go straight in with the meat. It's got chilies, Thai basil, but the pork, it's like, it's sort of like the fatty bits of pork. So it's really rich with flavor and really tasty. It's lovely. We've also got like a broth here as well. I assume you just pour it on there. Let's, um, I ain't going too mad, but let's try and get a bit of everything. A bit of the rice, a bit of the pork. This is our Benny. Yeah, a bit of everything. <laughs> That's like sweet, that, that, that broth. It's got a subtle kick, it's not really, like you think cow power, I thought it was gonna be really spicy, but um, compared to the last dish, not really spicy. We have got like a chili, we can add chili to it. So let's, and our uh, favorite chili sauces is like the best. Let's add a bit Don't spice it up too much, cause I want some. Let's add a little bit of chili to there. <gasps> and then you can mix and match what you want. So I'm gonna add some of the chili sauce. I absolutely love this sauce. Put it in there, all over. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a massive fan of this dish. It's always a bit too spicy for me, and I'm not a fan of the minced pork. You'll be surprised, really. Right? It's not spicy. Oh, no, so I'm gonna get a bit of meat, a bit of the yolk. Mm. I tell you what, that's one of the best ones I've had. I might start to like it. The meat's not too um, chewy. Sometimes it can be too chewy and get like a bit of gristle. That's really nice. And with the sweet broth, it goes really well and settles the cake. It weren't too cooky. It. it weren't too spicy for me, but that, that actually is really nice. I might have to change my mind about this. I just remembered when we first ordered, there's a list and you can choose how spicy you want it. And we went just a little bit. So that's why it's not too spicy. I completely forgot. You can also pick your egg. So you can have it like frazzled, Thai egg, or like an omelette. 
So this place is really good and literally three minutes walk. All of these places we go to, the name and location will be in the description down below. So if you want to come here, you can. How are you finding it? Pretty nice. I'm quite partial, I quite like the spicy food. But yeah, this is not spicy, but the flavour is good enough. So the cow pal come to Naughty Park with, again, two bottles of water. So you can get a meal at a really affordable price. Ah! And we shared that one as well. Sorry, I just tried in like a puddle. But our next place we've got to walk back on ourselves because we wanted to leave the last dish, our favourite, to last. We have got another dish, but a dessert. But this is our favourite main dish to go ahead all the way back. 10 minutes to the main road. <laughs> this is actually really fun. It's fun. It's really yeah, fun. when you've got it planned out quite well and done your research, it's a lot easier to yeah, do we'll, instead we'll, of just wandering around. We normally, yeah, we normally wander around and scratch our asses, isn't we? Yeah, and then we end up walking miles and getting hot and killing each other. Our next meal is obviously a traditional, probably the most famous dish, Thai dish in the world, Pad Thai. And this place, Pad Thai Narok Thai. Yeah, yeah, we'll sit down. Have a seat inside. It's just about getting dark outside, but um, we've still got a bit of vision. Hello. This one. Shrimp. You want that one? One. Uh, no, that one. You're good, you're good, you're good. <laughs> yeah. So this is just like a street food stand. You've got an inside, kind of like a garage space with one, two, three, four, five, about six tables in here and a couple out the front. And the guy's just cooking it on the side of the street. These are the best food you can get always. Ben's had the shrimp pad thai that was 60. And mine just says pad thai plus snack, 80. I'm hoping it hasn't got shrimp in it. But I feel like all of them's got shrimp in. So we'll see what I'll get when it arrives, but it looks proper good. We do, we do love a snack, so if it's got Whatever a snack, we're looking. Um, by the way, I know it seems a bit empty in here, but there's about five papers outside and they're all taken. So that's why we're sitting in here. And they're having takeaways. I saw um, a car pull up and grab a yeah, so takeaway, it's so it's popular. It's half six, which is actually really early to eat in Thailand. But this is the best thing, so we've got our sugar, nuts and chilli. So this place only has like, five dishes so they concentrate on just pad toys so you know it's going to be good when there's too many dishes on the menu you're a bit like mm, it's a bit too much going on So the only difference with my one, these, they're called snack, but I don't know if it's going snack or something, but they're like little, little crackers, little prawn crackers, they've got like a, a shrimp taste. This yeah. looks good. It looks good, yeah. All right, we're going to eat this, and you need to marinate it to your perfect tuna of pad soy We're actually going to see we've finished the little pad thai dish, and now we're going to go to Ben, 
Thank you. Thank you. One hundred forty baht. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Highly recommend that place. So good. I Best pad thai. I love the ship. Yeah, he's got like a cowboy hat on. He's, he's so cool. And he was all like, hey. All right, we need to literally just head a few minutes down that way, and it's for dessert. Buzzing. It's, good. it's been a good day so far. I've really enjoyed it. Good food day. So the best thing about Thailand and much of Asia is everywhere you go, there's like food vendors. Look, there's one here. Just selling like little like pork sticks and that. And honestly, delicious. I think. I think it's been useless with the map. Yeah. Do you want me to look? I don't know where it is. Go upside. You got upside. Go over that flyover. Yeah, we're just trying to find this last place for like a nice dessert. But we'll Giving Rihanna maps, at least she does got to meet her. Yeah, right, over the other side of the road. Hello, hello. hello. Take away, sit here. Uh, uh, take away, please. Take away. Okay. one of these. You want, what do you want? You want this? I have this, and this number one, my best for I. Number one? Yeah. Okay. And for I bring yeah, this one. Is this famous? Yeah. Okay. And what the beach for I? I have hot meal and cold meal. Number oh. one, my best. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you get one of each? One of each. We've come to the dessert place and didn't realise like how much food they actually did. Melon and thing is just uh, and yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Surprise me. Surprise us. This is like the most famous dish. You said here they're, they're really you're, like popular for it. Um but you picked like five different ones. Cold, yeah. And you can have cold or hot milk on it. <laughs> but hot milk freaks me out. Yeah. I'm so glad she spoke some English, she well helped us. And then we've also, this is what we originally come from, Nam Yang, the like chocolate toast. Uh, you can make a walk eating, while you uh, have a shopping night, you can uh, eating. We have it here. Yeah, we eat here. We eat here. Oh, you eat here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's quite unique, I've never actually seen any of it, like anything like this in my life. So, I don't know what we're going to get. I don't know, I almost feel, feel like it's going to be like a cereal or something, but we'll see when it comes out. Thank you. This is oh, wow. and Boroi, number one, my dear. Number one. Number one. Yeah, Famous. you can taste. Famous in Bangkok. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Can and yeah. my pets don't like sweet. Do you like sweet? My pets don't like sweet. Sweet a little bit, you know. Yes, sir. Melon. 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 Mmm. Good. It's warm. Very nice. Warm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, lovely. Oh, she's this got oysters in it. Uh, this one, Thai tea. Thai tea? Ah, uh, that's my favorite Thai tea. With, with, with milk. With milk, yeah. 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 Good. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. Thank you so much. Mm. And this one, choco banana. Choco banana? Yeah, oh. it's green tea. Oh, okay. Green tea. Oh, I'm sorry, caramel, caramel, caramel. 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 This choco banana. That's oh. more warm. Tea. Caramel. Yeah. Caramel. Yeah, a little custard. Yeah. Oh, very good. It's good where it's hot in the middle. Yeah. Mm. Oh. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> oh, she's so nice. How good is that? She's like explaining the flavours to us. So, I've had Thai tea, you've had caramel. I'm hoping this is the chocolate one. So, it's like a chewy outside and like a burst of hot flavour in the middle. It's really unusual. There's like ice in our milk, so you, you can either have your milk hot or cold. That's all right. All right, so I've got the chocolate one. Mmm, I still got that toy tea in my mouth. That was well good. I didn't expect it. I wasn't ready. Mm. <laughs> it's really chewy. It was a banana and chocolate. Like it literally just bursts as soon as you break it. So delicious. How good's that? It's amazing. The milk's really sweet as well. What's your one? Ah. You're probably guys didn't get this. This is like a licorice. Ah, oh, lucky. Yeah. Nice though. Like, got the, the licorice taste in the middle and the sweet outside. Very nice. And the texture's really good as well. Oh, they're so good. Yeah, like the spongy texture. This is round the corner from us. We'll definitely be coming back and getting a bowl each. But even the milk, I don't like milk, but this is actually... Sweet, isn't it? Mm. It's really nice. Don't taste like milk, does it? No, it's like sweet milk. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. 
you can eat meat meal. Eat with oh, meal. with it. Yeah. Oh. Oh. You eat like uh, yeah. like tipe end. No, no, not that. This uh, you eat this one and something. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, 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 She warned you against that. I oh, know, she frowned yeah. upon it. I bet. It is better, isn't it? We've gone with dipping. Yeah, don't tell us how to eat it. <laughs> we know how to eat it. We're doing this. <laughs> Alright, let's try this one. Tell me if she's mm. looking though. Don't let her see. Don't look we can't finish the milk. We've both done in. It's going to pay the bill. Yeah. That was good. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Cup, cup, cup. 80 baht. Thank you. 420. Lucky oh, way, huh? Thank you. Kafka, thank you for having us. Okay. You can keep it. Oh, my present. Bye. 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 Oh, she's my new best friend. Yes, yeah, so nice. So nice. This is around the corner for us. We'll have to come back. Yeah, yeah, she's really nice. There's only like a five minute walk back to our apartment. I'm kind of filming this way because our room's a little bit messy and I don't want you to see it. This is probably why we don't film very often in our room. We're not the tidiest people. Uh, it's not that bad. Like, the bed's never made, like, what's the point? We're gonna get in, back into it. But that's the end of today. I hope you enjoyed us trying a lot of the Thai traditional dishes. It was actually a really fun video. We look at when it um, runs smoothly and we get some really good food to taste and we meet some nice people. So we've really enjoyed today and thank you if you've stayed with us all the way to the end. We really do appreciate it and we appreciate every single person that watch our video. It means a lot to us. It's our little baby if you want to call it our YouTube channel and we love the community we're making on it. Um, Ben's normally the one that comments down below so if you wonder who you're speaking to it's normally Ben. He does all that. I'm normally busy editing and doing social media stuff like that. Ben's a commenter and the planner of all the videos. The next video we're going to Bangkok, biggest market. Might actually be the world's biggest market. I'm not really sure. You have to wait and see tomorrow. So make sure you subscribe. <laughs> ben, what are you doing? Yeah, it's good. Action. Not hate cough. Okay, Action. All right.